need some new music news this week. Beans! Hey, 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 w- what are you doing? We haven't gotten to that part yet. It's the most important thing. Why not just lead uh, with no, it? No, 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 no. You got to build up to it. Feed their anticipation. Makes it all the more interesting. What you're doing is wasting everyone's time. Just, just let me do my job, okay? Yeah, okay, fine. In some new music news this week, Slap D opens us up with a feature with Fresh and Nilly in a joint dubbed Quarantine Freestyle. The beautifully talented Esther Chungo released visuals for her song Chikanga Way featuring 412 this week. There's a few dance moves for you. And finally, youth advocate Pilato also surprised us with visuals for his song Niimbeko off his newly released album Here I Live. Go check them out. Mutale Mwanza is back, doing what she does best, kicking people out. While this time no ministers were harmed, it was Kennedy Gondwe who was caught in the crossfire. During an interview with Kennedy for his YouTube channel, Studio Ken, Mutale got offended when she was incessantly asked questions she said were inappropriate, most of which were about her past entanglement and others about her trip to Siavonga over the four days holiday and some pictures she posted on her social media. This went on and off until Mutale kicked Kennedy out. Don't ask me insulting questions in my own house. Okay, tell me. I will kick you out. Guys, let's switch off the cameras. Well, he didn't leave and the two continued with the interview. After Kennedy posted the interview on his YouTube channel, Mutale came out and asked him to pull it down, saying she never consented to having it published in the first place. Mutale proves to us once again that she can hold her own. Hmm. Tonight, we celebrate the arrival of Patson Daka and Enoch Mwepu back into the country. The two young Zambian stars who both play for Red Bull Salzburg in Austria flew back home after a fantastic season in the Austrian Bundesliga, in which Patson Daka finished second in the top scorer's chart. The 21-year-old also bagged the Red Bull Salzburg Fans Player of the Year accolade. An incredible feat at that. Well done, man. And we're not the only ones to think so. The achievement came with a plethora of congratulations from Zambia and beyond. Even His Excellency was rooting for the young star, urging people to vote for him and later congratulating him for his win. Beans! Nah, this was genuine stuff. The two were received at Kenneth Kaunda International Airport and wasted no time settling in. Enoch Mwepu checked in at Avani Victoria Falls Resort in Livingston, as evidenced by his Instagram photos, no doubt catching a glimpse of the extremely full Victoria Falls. After a closer look, he seems to be in full vacation mode. That was not the only mode he was in. We later found out that he proposed to his girlfriend Matilda. Ladies, imagine walking to a well star lit evening with the beautiful sound of the mighty Victoria Falls echoing subtly in the background as your man gets down on one knee and pops the big question. Oh, you guys. Whoever says chivalry is dead in Zambian men. On the other hand, Pat Sondaka is hanging around the streets of Lusaka, no doubt catching up with some friends. He linked up with artist Bauchase and the former Polo Polo team coach Ona Janza. What drew the internet's attention, however, was his romantic and debonair side. He celebrated his girlfriend's 24th birthday. The first time they've spent her birthday together, his significant other Grace revealed. Aww. And to the man of the week, Sheffy187. He and his fiance Yolanda had a kitchen party celebration, drawing the couple even a step closer to finally tying the knot. Oh, you guys! Numero Uno is no stranger to looking dapper, but it was his fiance who really shut it down in this gorgeous pink rose petal dress. Damn! Another highlight of the event was seeing the Kyra siblings all together. Makitu congratulated his brother on his social media and wrote, Congratulations, Mr. Kyra. Ebuaume. Oh, you guys! In the spirit of full transparency and accountability, His Excellency President Edgar Chagualungo on his Facebook page posted some images of the progress of the Kafue Mazabuka Road project, which looked splendid. Problem was, however, that the pictures were not of the Kafue Mazabuka Road, or any Zambian road for that matter. The pictures were of... God, this is embarrassing to say. The pictures were of the road construction project in Nigeria. Talk about a healthy inter-border diplomatic relationship, eh? <laughs> now to the laymen who do not fully fathom the depth, the pits, the profundity, the abyss, if you will, of the situation. Here's an example that may well help you fully comprehend the sitch of things. It's kind of like going to a party in clothes you borrowed from John, only to have Peter, who happens to be a mutual friend, come up to you and point out to everyone that's there that the jacket and shoes you're wearing are not yours. Yes, something like that. This mistake had the country wondering if this was a simple case of incompetence by the State House media team or just another serving of beans gone wrong. Dixon Jerry, having worked on the State House media team before, said he fully understood the pressure that comes with the job. 
but expressed that the act was simply unforgivable. This is embarrassing to say the least. We need to respect the office of the president and maintain decorum. In efforts to right the wrong, the Edgar Chagwalungo Facebook page posted an apology which read, a wrong photo was erroneously attached together with the message below. Find below the correct RDA images of the Kafue Mazabuka roadworks. We assume the media team was so nervous at this point. Why do we say so? Because it misspelled Mazabuka. But hey, who's paying attention, right? Someone definitely got fired. Well, that happened. But the pertinent question is, how in the world did those images get on the same device used to run the Facebook page of the president? Hmm. Cool baked beans, available in a supermarket near you. We made it! Eight consistent episodes of the was good show you guys have been fantastic it's been an amazing journey so far and we continue growing thank you to everyone who subscribes likes and shares the video uh truly 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 love you guys and we will continue making more so here's to eight more episodes yeah.